Okay, welcome everybody. It looks like we're all here now. Uh, all three people in the audience, four. Uh, first first go around here for me as a chairman. I think everybody knows that. Uh, want to welcome the members, uh, welcome the audience. Um, we'll get this going in just a minute, uh, but let's take a minute first, work our way around the committee. If everybody would, go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves, tell us who you are, where you're from, anything you might want to share. And if you want, we'll start right down here with Chairman White. I'm Mark White. My home is in Memphis, in Shelby County. I represent the uh, city of Memphis as well as a community called Germantown. This is my 12th year. Can't believe it, starting up here. And I've been on education now, what, for eight of those years? Really enjoy it, so I look forward to working with everyone on this committee. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Tandy Darby, representing District 76 out of Greenfield, Tennessee. Uh, definitely a rookie, a freshman here, and uh, look forward to the opportunities and uh, being on this uh, committee. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm John Gillespie. I'm also from Shelby County. I represent uh, Memphis and uh, Bar the city of Bartlett, parts of it, and this is my year one as well. Yes, Mark Cochran, and so this is uh, my second term in office, and actually my, the second time that I've been on the higher ed subcommittee, I was uh, on this sub uh, my first year in office, went to a different sub last year, but very happy uh, to be back. I represent the 23rd House District, which is all of McMean County, uh, just a little portion of Monroe. I live on a small farm just outside of the, the big city of Inglewood, so, but I'm very happy to be back on this subcommittee and look forward to it. Thank you. I'm Yusuf Hakim from Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm in my third year uh, here in the legislature and looking forward to working with all of you as we strive to uh, make education better in the state of Tennessee. Thank you. Charlie Baum, I represent part of Rutherford County and this is my second term. Glad to be on this committee for the first time. And I'm newly minted uh, Chairman Lafferty, Justin Lafferty, uh, from Knoxville, Tennessee. I uh, represent the 89th District over there, and it's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting place to be for the next few months. If we could now uh, get our staff to introduce themselves, we'll just start over here and work our way across the room. Sure. Uh, John Williams, Office of Legal Services. Uh, Patrick Boggs, the Research Analyst for Education Administration and Education Instruction. I'm a lawyer and I am Chairman Lafferty's um, legislative assistant. And if you guys ever need anything in regards to higher education committee, you can always contact me. I'm Christine Drescher from the clerk's office. All right, that's got everybody. Oh, we've got uh, Sergeant of Arms in here, I think. Did I miss anybody? Everybody taken care of? All right, good deal. All right, we'll try and make this as, uh, as painless as we can here as I shuffle through my notes. Oh, let's start with a roll call. Thank you, Madam Secretary, please. Representative Baum? Here. Representative Cochran? Here. Representative Darby? Here. Representative Gillespie? Here. Representative Hakeem? Here. Representative Parkinson? Chairman White? Here. Chairman Lafferty? Here. Chairman Lafferty, you have a quorum. Are there any uh, personal orders of business? Anybody, recognitions, anything anybody want to do before we go? All right, I'm going to go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll gavel in to the committee hearing. We're now underway, and we've got one bill on the calendar today. Uh, Representative Scott Sapicki, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, folks, we're here on House Bill 6. This is the bill I call the College Coaching Initiative. It's a bill we ran last year in education. Uh, creates a grant fund for those that are exp that are going through the college coaching initiative our most at-risk students that are going to community colleges or higher ed they get uh, hands-on coaching one-on-one -on -one, uh, as students that are at risk 
These are uh, possibly students that have never gone to college, families that have never sent anyone to college, and they are the most at risk for things binding them to make them drop out. Uh, we're operating off numbers a while ago, but our Tennessee Promise graduation rate is roughly around 57%. 43% of our students are dropping out. So we gotta do something to fix that, and a vast majority of those are, are students that are just trying to go through college but something comes up in life. They don't have enough money for lab. Uh, something happens personally to them and they just have to drop out. And so we're gonna create a grant fund. It's a, it's a four year pilot program. It's $250,000 a year maximum. If they don't spend all the money in one year, we only replenish, replenish what we need to to get it back up to 250. Our goal is that in year three, when we start to see these graduations come back of these students that we're helping, we're hoping to push our, our Tennessee Promise graduation rate from 57 up to about 70, 72%. If we're able to accomplish that, that'll put us number one in the country in that, in that type of graduation rate. It's about being number one. Uh, this bill did pass this committee last year and the education committee went on to finance, was waiting behind the budget and then COVID hit and everything hit, hit the brakes. If you were here last year, you know that. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I'll be happy to answer questions if there's any. Uh, thank you, Representative. Do we have any questions? Chairman White, you're recognized. No question, but I would like to lend my support to the bill. Very, very important. I call this life gets in the way bill. And we spend a lot of time and effort on the Tennessee Promise getting our young people from high school into our, say, our two-year colleges or different degrees. And especially all these families which have never gone to college before, the least little thing could say, oh, it's not worth it. You know, your car won't start or your flat tire or just a lot of things and to have something like this where we can support those students to keep them in uh, will more than pay for itself. So great bill. Representative Spicky, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Chairman White, for those words. And also just want to let you know, Lou Henman's here representing higher ed. Uh, they've been working with me on this bill for about two years now. Um, so I'm assuming they're in full support of this also. And just um, be happy to answer any questions, Mr. Chairman. Representative McKean, you're recognized. Oh, all right. It sounds like uh, we've got uh, no further discussion. Any objections uh, to calling for the vote? I don't see any. All right. Uh, all those in favor of passing this bill out of committee, please vote by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? No? All right. Looks like the ayes have it. Congratulations. Thank you. Bill goes to full committee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Th thank you, members. Since there's no other business before the uh, committee, uh, if there are no other questions or announcements, we can go ahead and adjourn. All right, we're adjourned.